It's okay about hygiene. You have to pray, you have yes. to be clean. Okay. You have to, you can't okay. be hygiene, you can't be clean. We are Muslim, we have to go to the toilet and, to and we have to clean ourselves. And, 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 and you have to clean, you have to wash why? Why you know, why, why is your trousers in the road out like Muhammad? Roll his trousers up, how Muhammad did it. No, and like, Muhammad, like like you said roll his trousers up. That's his sunnah. So you should roll it up. Yeah, I don't follow Muhammad. Jesus Christ cares about our heart. He does not care about appearance. Jesus Christ cares about our heart. Not our appearance, my friend. You serve Allah. He cares about your appearance. You have to wash yourself five times a day. You have to wash yourself five times a day. God does not look at our heart. Why this is dirty then? Why don't I find all your jacket? Read this, read this. Okay, right, yeah. your jacket. Read this. Read it. Okay, let's read this. The angels keep on asking Allah's forgiveness for any of you, as long as he is at his musalla, and he does not pass win. They say, Oh Allah, forgive him. So if you fart during your prayer, you are breaking your prayer. Your God cares so much about your parents, but not your heart. Is that the God you serve? Answer me. That's why God can't have hygiene. When you fart, your prayer won't be accepted. God is spirit. You have to use the toilet paper for prayer he cares about our heart, and not then, our and, and spirit. He cares yeah, about our spirit, not our, yeah, um, not our hygiene, my friend. That's okay. why he's giving you chances, that's why he's reading us. Okay, okay. And you say that okay. scripture, you have to be so clean when before he, you pray. When Muslims, you still, gone, when well, Muslims pass wind during their prayers, they break, break their prayers. Why are you worried about this? So Allah does why not worried, listen to them why when they pass this? wind during their prayers. Listen to God, Islam serves. Jesus Christ says, worship in spirit and truth. He cares about the heart, not the appearance, my friend. But you know, you know the dirt. Okay, do you know I'm homeless? You're homeless? Yes, do you know You know why you're homeless? Because you left Islam. Yes. And Jesus Christ says, if you follow me, you must deny yourself. You will lose things for Christ, my friend. You don't go back to Africa first if I want. You get it, bro? That's fine. Allah, take care of you. I advise you, no? I advise you, no? I'm not going to take care of you. I'll take care of you. Yeah, he is hunting. Okay. Yeah, sure. So, so, so brother, brother, who who is the greatest? Because you left Islam. Yeah. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. What you do? Yeah. Ask question. Yeah. I want. Okay. Okay. Ask question. And when we answer, you either take it or leave it and ask another question. Okay. That's the way to do it. I want to ask you yeah. a question, right? So you ask me questions. So I still have a chance to answer you. Let, it, so, uh, let me ask you again, right? The what question we asked about black magic. No, no. I want to say this to you. It Let's says, go back to that one. The first okay, one you, I still want to answer the first one. Okay. That's your question. But my question was to you. How can you trust Muhammad, he was possessed by black magic, right? But during this hadith, it says he was hallucinating. Him having sex with nine wives of one go. So how can we trust these other revelations, whether these are hallucinations or not? Talking, why should lost, I trust a man? He was you're lost, you don't know what to magic. say. That's why you have to have him, your empty show. First of all, let's take Your back. friend is a Muslim, he turned Christian and you lost. That's why your brain's empty, your brain's empty like this. You believe and I You need help by him. You believe and help by him. Every night by his answer prayers. Yes, of course. Exactly, so God, your limbs in God. You're telling me you're God. Your limbs in God. You're weak. You're weak. You're so hungry. So your God can't come and heal for No. You let him do it all. Because you're wearing your pants. You're wearing your pants. Okay, brother. This guy, get him in the tools. You let him do it. Let him do it. Forget him, man. Forget you. You're wasting the time you're reciting. And you will never get the message of it. It was through the end of his time. Okay. Tell him whatever you do. Tell him. You want to listen? So he was black magic by that, the that, Jews, that. yeah? At that time, Islam you're was lost, like... Why you're lost, mate. Why did Allah protect him? You're lost because you don't mind. 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 Whatever shoot came out, you just reject it. Just 99%. You have to be his bitch. You have to be his bitch. And when every time they went to Islam, people were going to him and keep talking. Because you know I'm going to answer this thing. You have to rely on him. Who do you call it? You're right-hand man. So he says that it was black magic. Then that, you know everything happens. It's called reason of revelation. Then Kulaz uh, bin Nas, you know bin Nas, and Kulaz bin Falak, yeah, you know Kulaz bin Falak, yeah. Those two chapters was revealed to show that when you're black magic, when you're thinking to cure yourself, you recite those verses and you blow on yourself. So when, when that, when he was black magic, then the, those two chapters revealed he blowed himself and he was cured. Okay. So he was cured. Yeah. So he was cured. He was cured. But my question to you now, he protected Isa. We could. Protect the greatest example of mankind. Why is that? Okay, bro. To, to show that Prophet Muhammad was a human. What about you, Muhammad? Yeah, he was a man. He was a human. Okay. Yeah. I, can't, I can't trust a human like that. That's, that's you. Okay. I do. That's why God has to come down. No, bro. 
just because you don't trust doesn't mean I, I have to do the same, right? Okay. You have to do the same. I mean, you, do I have to do the same? You should do, but you, you don't want to leave Islam because no, you're pride and honor. No. And to your family. No, just because you believe in something, I don't have to believe in it. I'm not trying to convince you to come to Christianity. I'm having a debate about how much you believe in You just said, oh, I don't trust him. That means I should do the same. You just said that. No, no, no. I, I, all I said to you, I don't trust him. That's right? fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay. But I do. Because but I understand why, why do you trust him? Though? Is, I, I, is it because of your family honor and stuff like that and your pride? No, no, no. no at all. So why do you trust him? I trust him because I knew he's the truth. He brought, he brought us the Quran. But anyway, let's not drift. The question was you asked, it was black, yeah, it was black magic, but he was cured, but he was during the end of his time. Okay. All the Quran revelation, the verse, the chapters, everything was just doing just before his death. Okay. Okay. So that, that's answer your question. Okay, so but when Esau so was now, on, when Esau was on the cross, Allah protected him. Yes, but he couldn't protect Muhammad when he's meant to be your greatest example, your greatest revelation of mankind. How, how, how did, so how can I trust him? Because okay. when Esau was you, when Esau said the verse of protection. But it still had an effect on him, whether or not he protected him, whether or not he got cured. It still like had an effect on him. It's like I say to you, oh, how come God didn't protect Jesus okay. when he was put to the cross? Jesus Christ came for a reason to die for us. No. It was a prophecy from, my, uh, from the start of Genesis. No, then why would he cry to God, oh God, save me? You know, my friends, he's fully God, fully man. No, why, why, why would he ask forgiveness? You know, why would he ask no. seek protection? Yes. Why would he ask, why would he seek protection from God? Oh God, let this cup pass by me, yes. save me. Because he's human as well. well why he's 100% God, 100% man. God, but if he knew, 100% man. I know. So of course he's going to feel his emotions. But if he knows that he's going to be killed, if I know that I'm going to kill myself, yes. That, like God has, yes. I am God and yes. I'm gonna go and kill myself. Yes. Why would I still ask, oh, God save me? I know, no, I, no. Came, I came here Jesus to die. Jesus said, if there's any other way, then Father, please let this cut past. But why is that the way? Said. I know this is the way I came to die. Why yes. should be another way? Because he's, I told you, he's 100% God, 100% yeah, man. But, but, and because at that time, he was in his man nature, he felt the emotion. So he, he felt that emotion so of sinful nature he, upon him. So he that, forgot why do you know what that cut here? means? Do you know what that cut means? Oh, bro. So what is that cut No, 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 don't run away, don't run away. Don't run away. As so you know that you know that cup. As you know, a human, yes. that means that did he forget that he knew that he came to die? Do you know what the cup of death means? First tell me what does it mean, the cup of death? I don't know. Exactly. The cup of death, the cup of death is referring to the sins that was upon Christ. So our sins was upon Christ. And because Christ felt these sins upon him, he, he was kind of separated from the Father. Right, the father looked away from him because of that sinful nature is upon him, which is why Christ wanted another way out. He didn't want to be separated from the father at that current time. So why did he say, "Oh God, why thou hast forsaken me"? Read, read that was a prophecy from the Book of Psalms. So you believe, you believe in the Book of Zabur, you believe in the Zabur, right? The Psalms. Ishmael. Yeah. Read that for us. Oh, oh, oh. He asked you, "Why did Jesus come?" Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 this is the reason. Oh, oh. Alright, says, "For even here unto you were you poor, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow His steps." <coughs> yeah. yeah. So when when Christ said, "Oh Father, my Lord, why have you forsaken me?" I told you because he was 100% God, 100% man. And because he was in his humanity, he felt the emotion. Imagine you were imagine you were going through suffering in life. You, or you had a cancer or something. You would say, oh Allah, why have you forsaken me? <clears throat> oh Allah, why have you given me this sickness? It's Jesus Christ in his humanity. He felt the emotion, so he's questioning God at that no, current time. No, but I wouldn't if I know that God has chosen this for me. Oh, I am God and I know I'm going to do this. Yeah. Why would I question it? Well, he did. If you look at, where's it going? Matthew... Huh? If you... Oh, he say, I can't explain, bro. Yeah, if you look at, if you look at Matthew 26, verse 28, this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out many for the forgiveness of sins. This is Jesus Christ before his crucifixion, saying that his blood will be the new covenant for mankind. It's literally confirming about his um, sacrifice. My question to you, if, if he knew that he's going to die, yes. he's going to get killed, he's yes. going to get whatever, crucified, whatever, why cry about it? He wasn't crying. Okay, he so was. do you, uh, uh, it's the book of Psalms. John, John, no, John 17. Hold on, hold on. John 17. I know, no, no. no, no. Okay. John 17. Okay, no. John 17. John 17. He's going to get killed, he's crucified. John 17. Why would he still say, <coughs> save me? That's what I'm saying. It's not, so when he was on the cross, right, because the sinful nature, our sins was upon Christ, yeah. he was separated from the Father. The Father had to look away from him. Why would our sin go so to Christ? Because we are, you, are you telling me your good works and save you? Said, why would I sin? Okay, let, first, let me let me answer this first question. Let me go to the next question, right? So, because our sins were upon Christ, the Father looked away from him, looked away from him. So, because Christ felt this separation from the Father in his humanity, which is why Christ the said that. Jesus, no? no, no, the Father and Jesus, he distinct persons. They share the same nature, same, the same essence, but they are. Um, Jesus they is wouldn't, same. They same, the same you call equal, no? They call equal, quite eternal, yes. So, we could call Jesus Father as well, no? No, no, no. no. Why? So, they're, they're, there's three persons within the Godhead. Yeah. They're co equal, quite eternal. Powerful. They're, they're all equal. 
Who's they work. Powerful? They work together. They're literally all equal. Who's more powerful? Are you? They, I told you they're literally all equal. There's no one. There's no one who's more powerful. So than when ever. Jesus said, "My Father is greater than yes. I," can I explain that? So when Jesus Christ says, "My Father is greater than I," no it's because me, He was in His humanity, and because Jesus was made lower than the angels, of course the Father is greater than Him, because Jesus was made that lower time, than the angels. Okay, so that time, Jesus had someone who's greater than Him. Uh, in his humanity. So the father was greater than Jesus in his humanity. He yes. worshipped the father at that time, no? He was, because, okay, so the reason why Jesus worshipped the father is because the father and Jesus, they eternally had a relationship. So Jesus is not going to pray to himself. That's like, that's stupid praying to yourself. Because Jesus Christ had an uh, eternal relationship with the father through the spirit, he was communicating with the father through so the spirit. To himself. No, no, the, I told you so many times. But he's praying to himself. Because okay. He was called equal. So what do we see? You know, in, in a baptism, right? When the so when Christ was getting, when Christ was getting baptized, right? Yeah. You see the Father, you see the Holy Spirit, and you see the Son. And what did Christ say in Matthew twenty-eight? Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. These are three distinct persons. Three distinct persons. But they yeah? they are one being. It says that in the Bible. We can see the Trinity in the Bible. Yes. It says baptize them in the Father and what? Son, Son and the Holy Spirit. It says that. Yes. Show me. Okay. Okay. Show me that verse. From the Bible, so, yeah? From the Bible okay. yeah? Not from scholar. Or okay, in Matthew 28, verse 19, it says, Therefore, Can I see? Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. There you go. There you go, brother. See? No, it's not funny. This is your belief. That's right. That's exactly. Your, that's your belief. So because, right. yeah, so you cannot say, you cannot say this. You cannot do um, jihad in the name of Allah, in the name of Muhammad, in the name of Jibrail. That would be shirk. So when Jesus Christ says, baptize them. Okay. So when, so when Jesus Christ said, baptize them in the name of the Father. Who, 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 who should we do it for? You say Allah Akbar, right? In the jihad. A lot of people say that, right? The terrorists. But I'm just saying normally they would say that, right? We, do, we should do just jihad for the sake of Allah. Okay, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So when Jesus Christ said, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, yeah. this is literally saying that these three are one. This is the baptism say, is a sign of worship. They say that this verse is not in the original manuscript. It is. If you look in the first century... No, they say it's not in the no, no, original no, no, manuscript. No, 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 no. If you look in the first century, um, church fathers were quoting it. I'm asking, do I know about that. that and I studied it. I you know it. that it's not in the that's what they say, yeah? No, no, you know, so no, no. Okay, can, I explain, can I explain that? So obviously that verse is um, mostly found in the second to third century. But obviously because these are like, you know how you have the Birmingham manuscript? Only the, in the Birmingham manuscript, you have the Surah Kaf, Surah Taha. You don't have everything in the manuscript. Likewise, within the, within the uh, second, the, the first century, we don't really... It was memorized, bro. It's we, like saying, so, so do we. We, have every, we, had an oral, we had an oral tradition as well. You don't, you don't we had, yes, I can show you. We had an oral tradition <laughs> no. where it was getting passed no, down. Man. It was. I can show you. No, let me show you, you now. I can show you. Like but let me God. let me speak to you that verse. I'll show you. I'll show you. I will show you. you yes. I, 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 like okay. So um, yeah, that verse. These church fathers in the first century was quoting these words. Where did they get it from? They got it from the manuscript they had at the first time. Let, let's look at this chapter. Yeah, I okay. want to know from you. Oral tradition. Like, look, you're a, you're a Christian now. Okay. Yeah? Look, I have debated with so many Christians. I the what? Look, I am 42 years old. Yeah. Okay, I, brother. What everything you're saying, I know this. Yeah? Okay. But what I want to know from you yes. is what I don't know, that's what I want to know from okay. you. That you are a Muslim brother, right? Yeah? I'm a Christian. No, no, you were. Oh, how do you know? No, I, 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 oh, okay, I heard okay. you, I heard you speak. Okay, okay. You say you're a Muslim, right? you used to be Muslim. I never right? really say it. People no, I saw you sometime on the YouTube, TikTok, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw okay. you. I know about Christianity, everything verse you're going to say, you know, okay. be right for you're not going to go nowhere. Yeah, yeah. But I want to know. You, my testimony. Like, my story. What, yeah, like what made you so, give Islam? Yeah, my story, what actually I had you? like a divine encounter with God. So basically, in my period of time, I was seeking Allah, I was seeking Jesus to see who was real, to see which God is real. And <clears throat> yeah, so later on, right, during this time, I had a sickness in my body. Doctors didn't know what was wrong with me, right? So let me explain. So doctors did not know what was wrong with me. They did not know why I was going through this. I went to many medical, med, uh, many professions, and they had no idea what was wrong with me. I was depressed in my life. I did not know what was going on. Okay. I heard a voice. So basically, the day before I heard his voice, I saw, I, saw, I saw a sermon about the Christian God, the message of Christianity, how God loves us, how He cares for us, how much He wants to heal us. And during this time, this presence came to me, this divine encounter and presence came to me, right? Bear in mind, I was also praying to Allah, and nothing came through Allah. And this presence came to me, and all it was saying was pray, pray, pray. So I decided to pray how Christians are praying. And when I was, when I was praying how Christians are praying, this presence grew stronger and stronger around me. And guess what? Within one day, my sickness went, my depression went. I was a new creation. 
And that was the only, the only thing I can uh, testify that to was Jesus Christ. So my friend, I had no relationship with Islam. I had no encounters in Islam. But just after hearing a sermon of Christianity, this presence came to me straight away. Okay, Jesus but, Christ is the truth. That's right. But brother, you know your story you just told me, yeah? yeah. Did you study Islam properly? Because based on that, from what, what I that's studied, objective. That's objective. No, what I studied, that could be a jinn okay. that gave you a sickness, yeah. made you do shirk, and he left you, then he, he, made you, he healed you. Because okay. you know that from, I yeah, don't know yeah. how much you studied. I know, I know, I know gin, people say that. The jinn I tell you why it's not jinn. Yeah, yeah. Let me finish, okay. brother. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you speak. Yeah, go on, bro. I love the it. The jinn could attack. Even these days, it could attack yeah, yeah. give you a sickness, could make you, something happen to you. Mm -hmm. And once you do shirk, because you know Islam, shirk is the biggest sin. Yeah, yeah. Any sin will be forgiven except shirk. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So once he starts making you do shirk, then he makes you better. He, he goes away from you. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, in my I personal view, yeah. so that this could happen to you. I thought this, that could was, have, yeah. this could have happened to you. Yeah, so okay. I thought it was a jinn. So I did. You know, you know what someone called Rukia is? Yeah, yeah. I did that. Because okay. my parents were saying to me, do Rukia, this is a jinn. It doesn't work, brother. Rukia, most of the time, doesn't, it doesn't work. work. But when only the only thing that can cast out demons is the name you know why, of Jesus. You know why it and I've seen work. demons cast out Bro, the name you know of Jesus. Why it doesn't work? Just why? because I have a gym, just just because it goes to a rookie. But why? So why didn't Allah? Do, I used to. I used to. Yeah, yeah. Listen, in order for the rookie to work. I read these surahs, I read everything for these. Like, Muhammad was possessed, I read the surahs as well. No, no, no. And nothing happened. No, no, it's nothing not happened. happened like that, bro. If someone uh, has possessed... But Jesus Christ can heal you just like that. No. In the name of Jesus, no, demons can be casted out just no. like that. No. That's not a power the name of Jesus is. No. No, this is your belief, yeah? But how we understand it, that you got attacked by... If you're really Muslim, yeah? What happened to you was that you got attacked by a jinn. Okay. Jinn made you ill. Yeah. Okay. And he made you believe in those things. So made you do shirk, so that you leave Islam. Okay. Because otherwise, what wrong thing did you find in Islam? That because obviously you did, did you study? Okay. So did you okay. at that time. Yeah. Did you study the Quran? So the hadith, okay, can I speak? I said, yeah. And you know, in order for you to so reject, when you have I, to know. Because right? this presence was so amazing, right? And I had nothing with Islam. Oh, you know, I'm a kid. I've got nothing yeah. to lose. I'm a young guy. Yeah. So let me just stick with what happened to you, brother? So, you, you I like, so I was like, let me stick with Christianity. But then the more I came to Christianity, Jesus Christ revealed to me the more about Islam, yeah. the more about how this is a deception from the devil. But the more you study the hadith, how Muhammad was possessed by black magic, how he was bewitched, how his ayoda was cut off from that poison. I can't trust this man. How Muhammad was a sinner and Jesus Christ was sinless. The only greatest example who I can trust is Jesus Christ. He not only died, but came back alive. He rose himself back up. Muhammad died and never came back alive. How can I trust him? If you follow Muhammad, you're going to end up where he is, which is the grave. But you have to understand, we never worship Muhammad. So if he died, why do we need him to come back alive? To show you there is a way of an uh, to show you that there is an afterlife. Because what did Jesus say? He said, I am the life, I am the resurrection. He literally showed us he, there is a resurrecting by is, raising Muhammad himself died. from the dead. Look, you said Muhammad died, he didn't come back alive. He doesn't need to because he's he left us with Quran and his Sunnah. So why does he need to come back alive to show us? No, no, he's because... already shown us. Look, look, without being biased here, yeah, just think like this, yeah. He died, he, he, he gave his message to us. Okay. It's like you gave me your message, you told me everything, yes. and you died. Now, why do I need you to come back alive okay. yeah. to prove me again? You already given me everything that okay, I okay. need. So, before Muhammad passed away, do you know what happened? Uh, like what? So, before Muhammad passed away, right, he had poison from the Battle of Khyber, where that Jewish lady poisoned him. Yeah. And that poison pretty much took an effect on him, which three years later, he died because of it. And in the Quran, it says, those who are false prophets, they Ayota will be cut off. And that's how Muhammad died, which is certified that he's a false prophet. Can I answer the question? Yes. Okay. So that happened. So during the 23 years of his life, when he was claiming prophethood, when he was saying this is from Allah Quran, why wasn't his Ayota been cut then if he was lying? Pardon? Why, why wasn't it cut in the beginning? Why is it right to this okay. judgment? Okay. So, why at the end? Okay, okay. So maybe, maybe it's because the devil wanted him to preach the message. He wanted him to preach the message. But as you know, the Bible said... But, but if it the, was a yeah. truth from God, and he said if he'd lie, he would have cut his iota. He should have done it in the beginning. Why? No, no, this... After Islam was spread, after he fought his uncle, Islam was spread, he was... Why was it at the end? Because God, God says, what well, the devil meant for evil, the Lord turns right. it for good. Everything I'm explaining to you, I'm explaining to you. Because to show that Prophet Muhammad was a human, so we no, no. Muslim, let me finish. So we Muslim, we don't worship him. There was a human... But let me explain to you, that he, look, brother, first of, all, first of all, don't ever try to explain Quranic verse to us. Okay. Because we will never take it from you. Okay. You know that, yeah? So why are you here then? Huh? Why are you here then? Why am I here? What? You say you're not going to take any Quranic verse from me, so why are you here then? 
<laughs> why am I here? Yeah, yeah. Why am I here to speak? To, uh, can I not be here? Okay. To 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 uh to, to give you what you're believing. Yeah, but you're not let me if you're not let me explain to you these verses. No, no. You can explain your Bible. That. Okay. You explain your Bible to me. Okay. How because how you understand it, I will not understand that way. Okay. But don't try explain your Quran to me. No, no, because how you understand it. Because, you, okay. No, no. You you're a Christian right now, yeah. But you want to no, read no, the Quran you're a Christian, because no, you think no, you want to stay no, with no, your no, pride no, and no, honor. No, you're a Christian. You don't want to leave you're, you're your Christian. family no, no, pride no, no. and honor behind, which no. is why you want to be a Muslim. Listen, you're a you don't you don't want to no, become you don't want to leave no, Islam no, because no, of the let's truth. Let's go back. The truth is you want to become a Muslim because your family is, and that pride and honor that you have is what you don't want to leave. Christian, yeah. So only explain what your Bible says. Don't try to explain what the Quran says. Okay. To us. Why not? Okay. Why not? But we'll never take it from the Why not? But how do you know, how do you know the Quran is about God though? Why Listen, Allah is explaining about Bible? Listen, Why Allah is explaining about Bible? Listen, why Allah is explaining about Bible? I know this guy makes lasagna, okay. you know that, yeah? He, Let's talk, bro. We're we talking, yeah? I, I said to you that I will never take Quran for you because number one, you're a kuffar. We don't okay. take anything from the kuffar. So you so you, you know that, yeah? But in your Quran, no, it says to listen to the people of the book, which is the Torah and Hindu. Yeah, and we are the people yeah, of the book. Man. So you must yeah, ask us questions no, and you must listen to no, us. It does. I'll get it up right now. No, no, listen, listen, listen. No, no, no. no we don't, listen, don't, listen. don't run now. Listen, don't listen, run. Listen, listen, yeah. listen. We're running away now. Listen, listen, yeah. We're going to get this verse up. We're going to get this yeah. verse up. Look, I know the verse that you're going to say. Listen. You don't need to bring the verse out. You said no, the no, verse. No, no, no. I know it's Let's there. Let's read it. Let's, Let's read, read it. it. I know it's Let's there. Read it. I know it's there. If you, a prophet, are in doubt about these stories that we have revealed to you, then mm. ask those who read the scripture before you, yeah. which yeah, is you the people the of the Quran. But you don't have the original the, scripture. What do you mean? You, you know, in, in Surah 6, 1, 5, Listen, it says so, Allah's so word can never be changed. Okay. Do you believe in that verse? Yeah. But I believe this verse was written by Muhammad. Okay. You believe that, yeah? So same same Quran says that your book is corrupted. Okay. The previous message is not okay, corrupted. Yes. Then there is oh, a no, contradiction. No, I'm not going to speak. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Bro, a, don't make noise. There is okay. a contradiction. Bro. So why is Allah telling you to read a corrupted book? But you listen. So why is Allah telling you, you to read a corrupted book? You're drifting. I'm, li I'm, I'm, I'm with you're, your point. You're drifting. Bro. Allah is telling you to read the Hindu and Torah. First question was. But according to you, they are bro, corrupted. So why is Allah bro, telling bro. you to ask the people bro, of a corrupted book? You're drifting from beginning. No, 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 no. You're not letting you're not letting me ask any questions to you. We don't take anything from the kuffar. It says in your Quran. You don't take your explanation. You're going you're against your Muhammad. But you're going against the Quran. No, that's not what I'm saying. You're not. First of all, we don't take how you're explaining it to me. Because you're a kuffar, we won't take that from you. Okay. But if you want to know from this verse, say, listen, I read this verse. What does it mean? I will tell you. Okay. But how do I know your explanation is the right one? Because a lot of Muslims, they make up, up all these explanations no, just so they can stick with Islam. So you, no, matter, no matter whatever explanation you say, it literally I, says, ask those right. of the book okay. before the Quran, right. which is the, the Torah and the Jew. What you do, you read this verse to me, say, look, your book says this to follow my book. Exactly. What yes. do you say about this? Okay. That's how you question. No, no, I don't think you're a dummy here. I can, I can speak to you the way how I want. I can ask you questions the way I want. No, but if you, you, know mean? If you want the discussion, to, ask, yeah. to, do you want the discussion to, to go somewhere? You just want to just talk, talk, talk. For no, no, no but I'm literally, I'm literally giving no, you valid you said, points. I'm so giving you valid explanations. I can explanations. talk how I want as well. Yeah, of that, course. Exactly. I, can, I, can, I don't have but, to be a dummy here and ask you questions the way how you want. Whatever the, your Quran says and whatever the but, previous scriptures are no, saying, I'm just telling but, you that. But, but I'm and you have to listen to that. That when you read the verse and you explain to me, I will not take take that. Okay. You understand? Okay. But if you read your Bible and So what does this verse oh, mean no, then? What does exactly, this verse mean? Exactly. Then? What say it like that, yeah? But no, let me just finish that. But if you read your verse from the Bible and you say, Look, my Bible says this, my Bible says that, and this is how I understand it, that's fine. I'll okay. take it. Okay. But that's how you understand it. So don't, but don't read Quran and then say, yo, Quran says this, I'm meaning this. I have the right to do so, my friend. Huh? We're here to learn. We're here. We're, we, I was a Muslim before, so I, I have the right to tell you what I learned from it. Okay? No, no. But that's what I'm trying to say. But I'm going to correct you. I'm okay. going to correct this verse. Okay. You, okay? What's your so when I say, Fasalu dikri in kuntum la ta'lamun, ask those, who, those before you, yeah? So basically, you have to understand the reason of this verse revelation. Why this verse came? Well, what was the reason? The verse says again, read again. To ask those to ask read the, before you, uh, yeah. skip before you. Ask those, okay. yeah. So when God was revealing this verse to Prophet Muhammad, he said, look, ask those as well. They had the same revelation that was revealed to them. Okay. They had the same story of Moses, story of Jesus, story of Abraham. Okay. They have the same revelation God has revealed through Zabur, through Torah, through Injil. Yeah. They have the same message. Okay. So why are they coming and questioning you about certain punishment? They have the same thing written in there. Tell them to go back to their book and exercise their book. 
You know what? Okay. You know what your okay. God has just That's done there. I, your on. God hold is on. leading people to a, into a Bro, into see. a grave pit. Yeah. Imagine how, Jesus says, Bro, "Read the Quran." Yeah. Read saying. the Quran. That's going to yeah. lead this people how, to Islam. This is how your God is yeah. leading people to the Injil, which is making them become a Christian. Listen. So your God you is a dece your God Listen. is making these people you come to Christianity. You so you read a verse. That's right. I read it. I explained it. This is how Muslim we understand it. This is how we understand it. Yeah. So that's my. Now you either but can take gave, it. I have gave you the explanation for that. Bro. So if Allah is telling these people, right, to read the Injils and Torah, He's based and plus the Quran is. But you don't the, have the Injil and Torah. The Quran. Do you have the, the Quran is an eternal book okay, for all of us. Do you have the? Do you have? Listen, listen. Do you have? Listen, listen. Do you have that? Uncle, uncle, uncle. We listen, have. Uncle, let me explain. The Quran is an eternal book for mankind. Okay, brother, listen to me then. I'm gonna listen. He's making okay, listen, you're a liar. Okay, like your prophet. See? Yeah, come on. Listen, yes. You're a liar like your prophet. Listen, listen. The Quran is an eternal book and it's for all generations. So if this is saying, if this verse is saying to read the uh, scriptures before you, Allah's basically leading people to the grave pit. He is basically leading people to the uh, to hell. But the Quran says the scripture before was Quran. Okay. Corrupted. So you know what does it say in Surah six one five? It says Allah's words cannot be changed. Yeah. No one can alter the words of Allah. The Quran. So if you are saying that the words, the words of Allah is in John Torah as well. Quran. So if you are saying. The uh, Quran, the Indu is corrupt. The, the verse, Torah is corrupt. You're verse, basically saying Allah is a fake God. That's what you're saying, the my friend. The verse that you're reading, excellent. The verse excellent. that you're reading is talking about the Quran. Okay. okay. No, Where does it say the Quran? It says the words of Allah, which is the Injil and the Torah. Quran, which is Injil, the Quran, Torah, which is the Quran, Torah, and the Quran. Which is the Quran. No, 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 no. Injil, word, Torah, and Quran. The word of Allah is the Quran. Okay. So this verse that you just you know who else is the word of listen, Allah? Listen, listen. Jesus Christ. Listen, listen. And just what did know, Jesus Christ preach? He said the story of Adam and the story of Noah. Uncle, you know who else? Happy, oh. Happy you know who else? It was the word of Allah. Yeah, stand this somewhere else. Jesus Christ was also the word of Allah. But and what did Jesus Christ preach? He preached that he will die for our sins and raise on the third day. And Amen. he himself will raise himself back up, which he did and came back to many people, which was later did attested you, to 500 I witnesses. To I heard this so many times. I want to ask you question about you as a Muslim, okay. that why did you leave Islam? You told right. me a story, hold on. You just changed the question so much. No, no, no. We're talking about the Indu and Torah, now you ask about my testimony. No, no, no. We're literally talking the about the Indu. How do I say in the beginning? I said, this rubbish that you're telling me, you're I've, running, I've heard you're it. You're running away from the answer now. You're running away from the answer now. So you are telling All right, I'm telling you my story. You are telling from I told you my story. It's rubbish. I'm telling you my story, brother. I'm telling you this stuff I heard for the last 20 years. Okay. You told me your story. I'm telling you, I asked you a question. You asked me. then you asked me. You know, about the Indu and Torah, me, which I gave oh, you. Oh, something came to me. I told you that yeah. Jin came to you. Okay. A Jin came to you and attacked you. Okay. And that then after making you commit shirk. So can I can I give my explanation to you? That to I want to explain to you, brother. He left and he told you go here. When Muhammad Jesus. was possessed by the black you, by the demons, shit. Muhammad later on went to try and commit suicide. When the Holy Spirit came to me, it changed me into a new creature, a new cre uh, creature, but, and he gave I, me I all these good fruits: peace, love, He's joy, gentleness, and right. self-control. Right. Which Muhammad yeah. had the I opposite. Yeah. Muhammad had the opposite of that. And Jesus Christ said, "You will know them well, by their fruits." Jesus Christ said, "You will know them by." Because you're not listening. You're not listening. Sounds very small voice. So Jesus Christ said, "You will know them by the fruits." I have you seen my? Have you seen my? So just because you're shouting, you think I'm not listening to you? Of course. Uh, because no. Christianity yeah. makes you idiot. No, 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 no. Go, go, go. So if I come and shout in your ears, yeah. are you going to listen to me? Yeah. Of course. You will. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because these people are speaking so loud. Of course, I'm going to speak. So tell him to go away, man. He's not going to go away, so we speak. But as I'm saying to you, brother, listen to me. I'm going to raise my voice. When Jesus came to me, he changed me into a new creature. He changed me into a new creature. But when the demon came to Muhammad, it ruined his life. How? Which we know because he later on like went to commit How? suicide from the mountain, no. right? And he was, he was, he was yes, he did. I'll get that up. Be your Let's get that up. That be your line. No, no, no. He commit suicide on his mountain. He went to, he went to try and jump up the mountain. Then he ain't. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're good. No, no, no. I'm not lying. Okay, Let's get up. Let's get up. I get it. I get it. I get it. How are you? How are you? Good. Very lucky. Go on, show this. You won't find that one. Now you're lying. I will show you. Go on, show. Don't go anywhere else. Show me. I'm going to show you, brother. Don't worry. You should. Maybe she will change you. Then you had a halala. Oh, brother, man. Yes, you had a halala. Then you had a halala. Then you had a halala. Oh, sister, we need help. Go and have a halala. Halala. Don't tell Muslims. 
Don't tell us. Go have halal. Let him go hell. We want hell to be full as well. It is halal in Islam. We want hell to be full. Allah says no one will be Muslim. Hell needs to be full. You know, and Allah on the day of judgment, you will cover us. So you know. That's right. So we need people like him. Muslim women are going to be in a hellfire. We need. And Allah is going to fill her. Fill a hellfire with Muslim women. With the Muslim women. So your daughter will be in hell, yeah? Yeah. Because your daughter is Muslim. Give them to the so Shia. Muslim so your woman. daughter will be in hell, yeah? Muslim woman will be in hell. You're not finding find it, but I found it. Yes, you did. Wallahi, you did. Find I tell you, it was there. Wallahi, you're not finding it. You're an honest guy. Muslim. When Muhammad jumped off the mountain. You know when Muhammad jumped off the mountain? Why did he visit? We'll get out, we'll get out. You did, we'll find it, we'll find it. You're not stupid. No, you said after he's been black magic. Jump off the mountain when he think about your comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it out, get it out. You said after he was black magic, he wanted to jump from the mountain. That's what you said. No, no, no. I said when he when the angel came to him, right, which was a demon, he laid from because of that. after he was black magic. No, 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 no. I said when the angel came to him and pressed him three times, which was a demon, he laid from had such enough of this torment, which he went to Khadija and Khadija told him it was an angel. Because Muhammad was so tormented because of this, Later on, he went to a mountaintop and tried to jump, jump off it. I tried to jump. Get up, get up. Show that. Show that. Get up. Show that. Go on. No, no, no. Give him till next Sunday. Don't worry. You'll never find it. You'll find it, but I'll give you all the push. You'll find it. Let's stick with that. Don't go anywhere else. I'm getting the hadith for brother. Hadith. Come on. Let's read hadith. Brother, are you going to give your daughters to your Shia? Is hadith the Quran? See fatwa number there. Yeah, yeah. See fatwa number there. Yeah. I know. Not all That's the fourth one. Muhammad is a liar. Allah is a liar. Thank you. We get it, brother. Could you get it? It's there. Give him time. Give so you have the fourth one. Where is it? Where is it? So just read from there. Okay, okay. You have to give hadith. Yeah, you have to give hadith. Yeah. Have to give hadith get it, yeah? man. Don't say what scholar says hadith. Yeah, you have to bring the hadith. Authentic hadith. Yeah. Authentic hadith. Not, not none of this Google, TikTok, YouTube. Authentic. Authentic. Yeah, yeah. What is that? Yeah, we'll, we'll tell you. We'll yeah. tell you which one. Yeah. When are you going to show? We'll tell you. Show we'll tell us. Yeah, we'll tell you. We'll verify it. I've got it right here, buddy. Look at this. Look at this. And what? And what? So what? Is that authentic? Yeah. Bring that in. I'm asking you. Is these authentic? You bring that in. This is the. This is the. This is the. This is the most authentic. This is Sahi. Sahi. Yes. Yes. We've got. I'm 21, right? I've got it right here. Right here, my friend. Sahi Bukhari, right? Where is it going? I'm Sahi Sita. Okay. The prophet became so sad, as we have heard, that he intended several times. To throw himself Whoa. off the mountain. Sure, sure. There you go, yeah. Sahih Bukhari, yeah. six yeah. nine yeah. eight two. There you go. Everybody's quiet now. Everybody's quiet now. Everybody's quiet now. There we go. Not quiet. We're still talking. We're still here. Okay. I know. Not to all hadith. He jumped off the mountain. Okay. The Holy Spirit didn't just come in. The Jinn came to the Jinn. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Oh. Oh. On the high mountain, and every time he went to the top of the mountain to throw himself down. I'm reborn. I'm reborn. Oh, the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ is the truth. No matter how many men stand against me, I'll testify that Jesus Christ is the truth. That's right. I will testify Jesus Christ is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, He's my Lord and Saviour. Man can do nothing. Jesus Christ is my right hand. Yes, yes. There we go. There we go. There we go, my friend. I'm a madman for Christ. You can call me a madman, but I love Jesus, my friend, which is what you need. Is this door a Muslim? Is this door a Muslim? Give me proof. Give me proof. He's not. Exactly. Please, he's burning. Let now. Let him. After read it, man. Come on, let him. Muhammad used to jump off the mountains to throw himself because of the torment of the angel Gabriel, which was a jinn. He didn't read the whole hadith. That's what they do. They take a snippet of the hadith and they claim that. Of course, they don't actually read the context. Okay. No, no, no. Go tell your prophet the context. The full hadith says, brother, I know what you're going to say. I know. Go on. Go on. Let's expose this. Takia! 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 Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, who will come on the right hand of the Father, and everybody will confess that he is Lord. I will listen. Okay. Boycott that, my friend. Boycott that. Boycott. Boycott that. Boycott that. He said. 
He said, he said, he said, yeah, when the revelation was revealed to him, then after several months, he went up. And every time he went up, he met Angel Gabriel again. No, 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 the, uh, Gabriel appeared to him again and said, don't worry, Gabriel. Listen, listen, listen. Okay. don't worry, Muhammad, listen, you are not okay. a madman. Okay, you have not let me explain. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on. Listen, listen. Last, last listen. explanation. Listen. Okay. okay, before listen. Angel Gabriel, listen, listen. before listen. Angel Gabriel used to come to him, listen. Muhammad first attempted yeah. suicide. Yes. Then the angel came yes. to deceive Muhammad that he was an angel, you not a jinn. And Gabriel, okay, brother. Okay, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Is it daughter Muslim? Gabriel is from the Gabriel Finish, but I'm done. Wrap me up. Done. Done. I showed you. Gabriel Jesus. 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 Jesus Christ is coming! Every knee will confess that he is Lord! Amen! 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 Muhammad is a false prophet! Jesus is Lord and God! Jesus is Lord and God! Muhammad is a false prophet! Is your daughter so Muslim? Proof. Is your daughter Muslim? Proof. That is Muhammad. Wrap it up now. Come on. Okay, 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 okay. No, man. No. Inshallah, soon Allah. Do you have yeah, any other point? Brother, brother. Do you have any other point to prove that Muhammad is a suicidal? I believe. Allah's name. Wrap it up. He's getting close. He's going through. He's going through the motions. Target. 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 Let's wrap it up, guys. It's getting too much. I love you all. I love my Muslim people. I have nothing against you. We love you as well, my brother. Amen. 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 We're just trying to help you. We're just trying to save you. We're just trying to help you. That's what we're doing. We're just trying to help you. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. We hate that. Is Jesus cast in the ideology. Not the Muslim. Is your daughter a Muslim? We don't, brother, we don't hate Muslims. Muslim. Let's Jesus cast in the ideology. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alhamdulillah. 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 Thank you. Malik al Yawmin. Ayyah al Nabudu. Every knee will confess Jesus Christ is Lord. Can you come? Can you Can you Can you come? Do you know why you don't pray for us? Your prayers never accepted. Okay. Okay, you see that? Okay. Is that why many Muslims have dreams and vision of Jesus? Love, 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 Muhammad is a false prophet. Oh, Jesus he is a pedophile. Is, is pedophile is prophet. This is daughter Muslim. The problem is you guys. He is a pedophile prophet. Oh, no, 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 it, it, it is a proven. Study your Bible. How? You need to read in between the lines. You need to read in between the lines. You need to read it in between the lines. I debated with you. You want to debate with me? Sorry. I debated. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. We are the body of Christ. Debate us. Debate us.
I debate with you. I debate with you. You are too. Debate me. You lack heckle. Come on. What is that heckling? No man, explain this. Magic was white on Allah's messenger, so that he used to think he had sexual relation with his wife while he actually had not. You trust a man who was possessed by black magic. I've debated you, Lamin. You said you become a Christian. Why are you not a Christian yet? He said if you become a Christian. I've shown you what Jesus fully God fully man. Colossians. Alright, let's get it up again. Come here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Lamin. Lamin. For in Christ, all the fullness of deity lives in body form. There you go. To six, to form of God, to have for himself. That's your daughter himself. Yes, form of God, fully man. I for leave a man, just leave it. Why are you not following that prophet? Come to Jesus. Who is loving? And loving. He is coming back. 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 We have to show them. One question. Show the picture of Muhammad. Are you scared? We have to show them the true picture. Picture of Muhammad oh, that yeah, yeah. he Come. not only. Show them. Show them. Show them. Show them. Forget them, man. <laughs> They're not going to change, man. <laughs> well, I need to. I need, I need to show. You. I need to get that. I need. So basically, as you can see, he said towards the end. Show me, um, show me when Muhammad tried to commit suicide, okay. which I showed him. Let me get, let me get, the, uh, let me get the hadith up. Let me get the hadith up. My voice is going a bit. Yeah, it says it here. Where's it going? Where's it going? Um, yeah, it says it here. Muhammad used to throw himself off the mountains. Then the angel came to him to try to stop him. So we can see because of this torment, Muhammad was possessed by a demon. And the Bible says an angel can come as a, uh, a demon can come as an angel of light. So when Muhammad was in the cave of Hira, there was not an angel that came to him, but it was a demon who then tried to stop him from committing suicide so Muhammad can fulfill the work of Satan. And that guy also said about his, uh, your daughter being Muslim, so tell, him, tell, tell them about that. About your daughter being Muslim, tell them, tell them. My daughter, they are not foolish to be Muslim. Exactly. They are not foolish to be Muslim. They know it very well that Islam is a false cult of Muhammad. Amen, yes. So they cannot be Muslim. I told that guy so many times, Muhammad was possessed by black magic. That's right. Black magic had an effect on him. So how can you trust this man to be your greatest example of mankind? I also told him the Inju and Torah are the words of Allah, which cannot be changed or altered. So he is going against his own deen, which he must leave the Islamic deen and come to Jesus Christ, for he is risen in heaven. Thank you.